Welcome to section 8.3 where we're going to talk about DNA replication. DNA replication is the process that copies the DNA so we have an identical set of DNA in each new cell. Replication itself, itself happens in the nucleus of the cell. Remember that we have the cell cycle and during the S stage of the cell cycle it stood for DNA synthesis. Synthesis is where this DNA was copied and this is the process of how it actually happens. Um, we take one single strand, use it as a template for the new strand, and we follow the base pairing rules to actually create an identical set of DNA for every cell. When DNA is replicated, there are three main steps that need to be followed in order for DNA replication to actually occur. Proteins are the ones that actually carry out the process. A template is something we use to make it easier for us to make a copy of something. So when you did your genetic research projects, you used a template probably for the brochure. It was set up for you already. You just had to change the information that was there. DNA itself serves as that template. Uh, the enzymes uh, that come in and open up the DNA strand is known as helicase, which is step one in the process of replication. The enzyme helicase unzips the double strand. It allows then for step two to happen, which is where the free floating nucleotides, your A's, T's, C's, and G's, that are randomly floating around in the nucleus of the cell to pair up with its complementary base pair. A pairs with T, C pairs with G, by hydrogen bonds in order to create the new strand. During step three, DNA polymerase comes in DNA polymerase would be this right here. You know it's an enzyme because it ends in ASE. Any word in science that ends in ASE means an enzyme. Uh, the DNA polymerase enzyme comes in and it's known as the proofreader. It checks over the new strand, makes sure that an A did in fact pair with a T and a C did in, pair with, in fact pair with a, a G. Uh, if for some reason that did not happen, the DNA polymerase would correct the error so no mutations would be occurring in the new strand and to make sure that it's exactly the same as it was just one time before. Um, the covalent bonds are what's going to hold the new nucleotide strands together. In the end, DNA is known as semi-conservative because you use partly the old strand but partly new strand when you create the, state, the strands of DNA. From one strand of DNA, we can split it open and we create an identical set of new DNA. It's a very fast and accurate process. Very few times do we find that there is a mutation that occurs. Uh, the polymerase, like I said before, is known as your proofreader. It's going to find and correct the errors to prevent uh, any malfunctions in the replication process and to ensure that the DNA is always being copied identically. It's not 100%, but it's going to catch most of the errors. To review, DNA replication happens by helicase unwinding the original strand of DNA. The base pairs pair up, or the free-floating nucleotides pair up. And step three, DNA polymerase comes in and proofreads the new strand and kind of seals it back together as the glue.